She like five one, honey, hella fine, low key, shorty, mad, whoa, that's the shit we on, looking natural, self love, it's a good thing, smell like ass. What's good, family? Y'all know when I'm sitting on bed, this is gonna be a serious video. It's not really serious, but um, I know a lot of people have been asking me for updates. Sorry if the sound is kind of off, but I'm just here to give y'all. The T on the next Planon insert birth control. Now, if you guys want um, my experience, a story time on my experience with the Depo Provera um, birth control shot, let me know. Um, and I can like compare and stuff like that. But for the next Planon, I got the next Planon actually inserted into my arm, um, I believe August of 2018. And I just got it removed August 2020. So I had it in my arm for two years. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but this is the scar that I have left from the next plan on. And I did record some clips before and after I got it removed. I was like too freaked out and scared to actually record when I was getting it taken out of my arm. But I'm going to tell you all about that, but I'm going to insert those clips into this um, video. So basically the reason that I got on birth control because my flow was heavy and I really didn't enjoy the cramps and so forth. So I've been on birth control since I got out of high school. I was just kind of flip-flopping between different ones. This was my first time getting the um, next plan on insert though. Um, so the insert process overall was not bad at all. Um, as far as pain, it was really just the nerves. So I was like, ter like terrified. Um, so my doctor used to always make fun of me because she's like, girl, like, why do you even get this kind of stuff? And you're scared to death. But beauty is pain, period. Even though it's not technically beauty, but still the same thing. But anyways, so the procedure goes as follows. Literally, you come in, they lay you on the table. Not lay you on the table, but you know the table, you just lay back. Um, you lay your arm out. And they give you a needle that numbs your arm and you wait a couple minutes and literally they start like kind of like poking the needle into your arm and they ask you if you feel it and you're like no. Um, and literally she's like well I have the needle in your arm so your arm is now numb. So then literally, all they do is take the look I think I'm, I know something because I watch Grey's Anatomy. But anyways they basically cut your arm like slit your arm open a little bit. Um not even slit your arm basically to put it in there's like this little com com contraption 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 i don't know how to say that word but y'all know what i'm trying to say and literally they sit it against your arm and like you can tell that they're pushing something it's like kind of like almost like uh like it's going like that they're pushing it like that and it just slides right into your arm i'm not even sure if she actually cut my arm open to put it in there but after that they pretty much um just put like these um they're like uh it's like almost like a sticker and it's like a band-aid but it's like a sticker and like after like a week it kind of just falls off and then your scab is closed you don't need stitches or anything like that so as far as the next plan on goes i was not on my cycle when i went to go get the next plan on inserted i'm lying i was on my cycle when i went to get the next plan on inserted and I think I was like in the middle of my cycle and my cycle pretty much finished out this five days. My cycle normally lasts for five days. Um, finished out and after that I never had a period again. So like I said I got it August 2018 and from then on I never had a period. Um, as far as the in between time, um, I did experience some spotting every now and again. The spotting would last for like a week and then it would just disappear and I would go back to regular. That's pretty much it as far as like cycles and spotting and stuff like that goes. But as far as like side effects, um, personally myself, um, every once in a while I would get like sharp pains in my arm where the implant was. Not sure why or what that even means, but I looked it up and they said that it just happens. Like people who have the next plan do um, sometimes get like sharp pains in their arm. It's not really a reason why, but they just get them. Um, if you guys know anything about that or if you guys have experienced next plan, go ahead and comment your experiences down below. Somebody may be watching this video trying to decide if they want to get it or not. Um, but as far as the pain in the procedure, I forgot to say, it definitely was a 1 out of 10. Nothing. Like, I felt nothing 
at all. It just felt like kind of like tugging at my arm. Now, as far as side effects goes, um, I feel like there was a big change in mood. Like, I'm, I'm a Virgo. I'm already a moody person, but I definitely was way more irritable, like way quicker, way quicker to just boohoo and cry. And then I would get over it, but like, I'm not really a crybaby. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if that was like a side effect or is it like a long last, or like if it was a side effect, I wonder if it was a long lasting like side effect, like after the fact, cause I had it taken out, but still to this day, like small stuff makes me cry. Like, but I wasn't always like that. So I'm not sure if that's a side effect or maybe that's just me. But I did sometimes feel like very like overly emotional. Like uh, the rage was like rage times 10. The sadness was sadness times 10. The happiness was happiness times 10. Um, so my emotions just felt, felt like a little heightened. Um, but not to a point where I couldn't handle it. My weight did completely different with the two with different birth control. So with Next Plan on, I gained weight. So all my life, I pretty much was 90 pounds. Um, and I finally had got to 105. And I got the Next Plan on. And when I came back home from Memphis, which was in 2019, I was 145. A year later, I'm still, um, I currently weigh 143. So... Um, I definitely did gain weight, but I'm not really sure, like I said, if that's a direct side effect to the birth control, um, because I've had different side effects from different birth controls. Um, I did get it removed, so I'm waiting to see kind of if that was actually a side effect, because if it was, then I would just drop weight. Um, but I did get a little thick in the thighs, so <laughs> I'll take that. But the only thing is, like, I definitely did gain, um, some, you know, some some baby fat around my stomach so I'm not comfortable with wearing my stomach out or anything like that I'm not really into tight clothes right now I just like being comfortable um but yeah I'm gonna insert those clips of me getting the next one on removed and then um I'll come back I'm looking gotta get my hair done later but y'all um the stuff that I picked up from Target, I already have the, um, I bought a Diva Cup. I don't really know how that's going to go. I'm really nervous about that. But, um, I went to Target and I just got these panty liners. Um, I got the Honey Pot Super Herbal Infused Pads with Wings. And then I got the same ones in regular because I'm not really sure how my body's going to react. Um once i get it taken out and then i also got these really cute scrunchies <laughs> um and i got the calming lavender panty spray i did like the quiz on their website and this is just the stuff that they told me to get so i just bought it all um i got the normal foaming wash and then i got the regular and the super organic tampons so Normally, when I did have my period regularly, um, it was either I was using regular or super. There was no, or rather super plus in the always brand, but I don't really know how super hers are. So um, I'm interested to see how they're going to do. But then also, um, like I said, I don't really know how my body's going to react once I get it taken out. So uh, we shall see. My stomach hurts so bad. I keep using the bathroom. Um, but I'm about to drive up there and check in and stuff, so I'll hit y'all up when I get out. So I can't record, but y'all, this is the table. I'm in here. So she said, she said that, um, they're going to numb me, numb me, and they're just going to make a little slit, and it might be like some, I guess, Skin that kind of like grew over it, so then I have to like scrape it a little bit and then just gonna pull it out and then wrap me up. So, oh, I'm scared. Pray for me. I'm shaking. Okay, so if I could have recorded, I definitely could have, if that makes sense. Like, if I was allowed, I definitely would have been able to hold the camera because after she did the numbing needle, I didn't really feel anything, um, except for like 
tugging um that's kind of like it actually, it actually felt like when i got my tragus pierced over here um and the lady once she stuck the needle through it just felt like she was pulling on my ear and that's pretty much what it felt like um my nerves are gone pretty much but i still feel like kind of shaky which is so dumb but um it wasn't that bad but she said that um we shall see if this was the cause of my weight gain and then also she told me to do a month without birth control to see how my migraines start acting and stuff like that so and if not she like if it doesn't change she told me to come back and get it back in i have a black doctor a black lady doctor so i'm very appreciative of that but um looking into the pill also but yeah that's it it's out um i'll show you my bandage probably when i get to my mom's house and now i just wait and she said i probably won't have a period for three to six to a year so all right so i am back and one thing that i did want to make sure one thing i did want to make sure that i did mention in this video is that um as far as severe side effects for me um one that i definitely did suffer from uh, if you guys are new here, you probably wouldn't know, but if but if you've uh, followed me here, Snapchat or anywhere else, you guys kind of know that I already struggled with really bad migraines um, to the point where, like, you know, my fingers, my hands, my arms, my legs and stuff like that were going numb. I was currently, uh, like, always at the hospital and stuff like that. And my migraines definitely did become very frequent. Um, frequent to the point where I would just be in the bed for um a week straight or two weeks straight and i can't really function because it's like that bad and it's like after a while of going to doctors and stuff like that there's not really much more that they can do for you but give you more medicine that wasn't helping in the first place so um with the help of like some cbd stuff i did kind of it did kind of like help relieve it a little bit but like I said, my migraines definitely did become more frequent when I did get the next plan on um, birth control. But once again, I don't know if that's a direct side effect from the birth control. I'm not saying that these things are caused by the birth control because of the hormones, because that may not be the case. And I'm only saying that because my neurologist that I was going to uh, recommended that I did get the next plan on taken out because it may have been too many hormones. Um, for me uh, which was causing me uh, worse migraines because like I said I had already had them before but they were saying that he was saying basically that um, the hormones could make them more severe more frequent and just worse overall so I did tell my OBGYN that and she was pretty pissed actually very pissed that he told me that because she said number one he told someone that before and um they listened to him they got it taken out and literally not too long later they ended up pregnant i'm not gonna come back pregnant but um i will say that since i did get it removed my headache pattern hasn't changed at all so getting it getting it removed didn't make my headaches um be less frequent so it's kind of like i don't really know it maybe it's too early to tell or yeah i just i'm not i'm not completely sure i did take pictures of my scars like a couple weeks or days after so i will post that uh put that on the video put that somewhere on the screen um but after the fact nothing and, and then the pain as well for the takeout process was a one out of ten it didn't hurt at all um definitely i think it's just a scary experience but it doesn't actually hurt um, the only pain that I really felt was like after the fact when the um, like day two when I took the wrap off my arm was just kind of like sore but it didn't like hurt like you know it wasn't like excruciating pain so as far as my after effects like I said I got it taken out um, I lied no, no no I got it taken out September not August my bad um, but as far as the after effects I got it taken out September 3rd I believe and it is October 29th um so it's almost two months 
it's almost two months um and i just wanted to give you guys an idea of what my after effects have been like like i said um i'll do a complete different video for depo um because my experience was completely different than it was for the from the next one on um so i got it taken out september 3rd and on october i can't remember it was like the end of september or beginning of october and i literally got a cycle but the cycle was like really really heavy to the point where i was not able to wear a regular pad and it like this may be tmi i couldn't wear a tampon um the flow was too heavy if i tried to wear a pad flow was too heavy i couldn't really go anywhere like the first three days um so i ended up having to get the pads um that are like the ones they feel like a pamper when you have them on honestly they're they come in like the purple pack i think it's by always um it's like the purple pack and it like unfolds like four times and it goes from like to the front to all the way to the back um, and those are the ones that I pretty much have been having to wear. But the cycle, I thought I was going to have a continuous period or cycle, whatever you want to call it. And it ended up only lasting for five days, which was my normal cycle. Um, the only thing that kind of changed up is like I was really like, um, I felt like very exhausted and sleepy. Um, and very just like fatigue. So I did begin taking some iron pills because like my body is trying to get used to, um, you know, releasing blood and stuff like that. So um, it lasts for five days and I was back to normal. And literally just today, which is October 29th, I got my cycle again. So honestly, so far, two month update, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it seems like I'm back on regular schedule. My period is just heavier than normal. Um, eventually I want to try like the diva cup, but like I'm scared of that too. Um, but I will keep you guys updated. Um, but I feel like I pretty much touched on the most important things that stuck out to me in my experience. It wasn't bad at all. Um, if the migraines continue to be the way that they are, I may go back and get it again. I'm not sure, but she did. My OBGYN did tell me that, um, if I want to, just let her know and, you know, just come back and get the next one on in. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I was kind of like rambling. I hope uh, this video was uh, informational for anybody who is watching it or wanted to know more about the next one on. Um, this was my experience. Um, if you guys want me to, I'll do like updates every once in a while on how my body has changed or what um what didn't change um but yeah so far i'm pretty much the same weight and my cycles are pretty much regular for the past two months so we'll see how this goes but i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my journey um and i will see you guys in the next one